Hey guys, it's the Solar Cloth here today, and so this month's the Legends Leaks video, we have some brand new leaked events, as well as some new leaked mythics, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first leak is going to be Krongus, who is going to be a fire and water tank with Taunt as a trait, and stun and damage protection skills. So, Taunt as a trait is already really good, but hopefully his moveset is good as well. It looks like he has a major damage reduction, one enemy with torture immunity to himself, which is pretty good. He has an AoE damage reduction, he also has an AoE drown, a single target drown, and a single target stun twice. And he also has a blocks 50% incoming damage and torture immunity, which is pretty good. So yeah, he seems alright, seems pretty decent. He doesn't seem like super good or anything though. And then we also have a Queen Thalassa, which is going to be a water controller with mega freeze and freeze hater skills. So this monster has a single target drown also has a freeze he has an extra turn with freeze hater and stamina regen which is interesting oh and she has another extra turn that removes control immunities from one enemy which is weird but i guess that could be good i wonder if that affects traits as well then she also has a precision and freeze hater to all allies which is pretty decent and aoe freeze she also has an aoe uh, remove control immunity and mega freeze to all enemies so that is a very good move and she also has a mega freeze and freeze all enemies so yeah this move is really really good the one that can mega freeze all enemies and she's got a couple of other pretty decent ones as well so this monster is definitely going to be worth getting she seems very very good and then we have the full bounty shop for the bounty hunt tomorrow so you can see what monsters you'll want to get i definitely go and get prosper the gray he seems really good i actually have a full video on why he is good on my channel i uploaded it not that long ago so you should be able to find it pretty easy and some of these monsters are pretty good as well i would just look in books and see which ones you need for books and then we have heard more stats right here we have already seen his traits but i don't think we've seen his relics or stats yet so his relics are sword and amulet which are pretty good and his stats are pretty decent as well he has some pretty high stats they're of course nowhere near as high as ancestor monsters but they're still pretty high and then speaking of ancestor monsters we have some images for three upcoming rank up dungeons for all of the ancestors so if you have any of these ancestors and you want to rank them up which you definitely should if you have them then go and do these dungeons and yeah that is when we have a this video let me know down in the comments what you guys are most excited for and what you guys think of these two new monsters and i see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye